Hey, how's it going guys? My name is Jackie Fish and welcome back to another Mountain Blade 2 Battle Lord campaign part. We are going to be diving right back in and this time our war in the north is about to erupt. I think it is only right that we decide to declare war on the Sturgeons. They're down to three settlements, two majors and one, uh, mi well, two minors and one major. If we can take this castle away from them, we'll be in a very good spot and we'll start making that bank. And then we can use that money to go ahead and basically uh, spend that on all of our you know, enemy families that we can try and convince to join us and stuff like that if we can pass the stupid charm test. As well as that, I've now got a brand new wife called uh, boom, boom, my wife, the, the beautiful pixelated Apollo right here looks, you know, just as I remember her. Absolutely great. So yeah, with the cheat menu, again, I still have actually forgot to remove it. I can actually rename uh, my wife and myself for some reason. I can't rename anyone else. It would have been kind of cool if we could have renamed these guys to you guys, but it doesn't seem like I can do that, so that's absolutely fine. Uh, but yeah, both of you guys have been asking that for a while. So what we're going to do is I'm going to try and I think this is the right guy. I'm going to ask this guy if he wants to join us as a mercenary. And if he does, uh, yes. And then we can use him. Um, have made a contract to fight alongside me. Good. And I want you to join my army as well. Just get him in. So that will just give us an extra couple men. Uh, I think having one mercenary group is going to be great. Uh, we also have the influence as well if we want to try and convince everyone else to join us as well. Just to give us an extra like 200 men, which I think is we are desperately needing. I mean, I think I might go after this caravan and I'll use that to kick off a war. Uh, yeah, so let's go after this caravan. Uh, it is obviously much faster than us because we are so slow. Oh, come on. That was annoying. I really, really wanted to kick off uh, the war because I don't want to raid these settlements because we get so many negative opinions by raiding them. So I guess we'll just look for a, a Sturgeon army and then we'll come back and uh, fight this. Because as I said, I don't really want to uh, raid a village or, or at least a village over there because eventually we're going to take these settlements, right? So ideally, I want these settlements to be on my side, uh, you know, and not want to kill me. So we're just going to find a, uh, a Sturgeon lord. There's one right here. Hopefully he'll run right through us. I wonder why Valandia are up here as well. They find the Kuzites maybe? Oh, come on. Don't just run away from me, my dude. Recruit and come back. Recruit and come back. I mean, also we'll see if he wants to join me. He obviously won't because why would anyone want to join me and my kingdom? God, I love how the Sturgeons look. They're kind of like Kiwi and Rust. They're like a mix between uh, between my faction and, uh, you know, Vikings. It's so cool. Um... I mean, let's see it. <laughs> no, of course not. Oh, I just, I'm not going to complain. Not going to complain about it. I just wish there was another way to do this rather than... Because you guys have seen how many times I've done it. I don't know, doing this is chanting out as the last one. Yeah, no. Uh, either way, well, you didn't want to join me, so here are my demands. I would have loved to have had you. <laughs> His poor set, he's outnumbered 10 to 1. I mean, good odds for any Roman, but unfortunately, he isn't Roman. Soldier attack! Uh, we, we actually have no cavalry in our army as well. It was actually really bad how few horses we actually have. A lot of our infantry as well aren't looking great. We do not have a lot of, like, high-quality infantry. Big mix of stuff. Oh, I love the, the white hand of Saruman on, on that guy's shield. That's pretty cool. Oh, wow. They actually also have javelin men. Using my uh, my glaive like a lance. So many arrows coming in, though. Well, that's all of their their cavalry dealt with. They actually have some more cavalry here, but now it's going to be getting shot as it falls back. I think they're retreating back to that hill. And we can still try and pick. Oh, that's my cavalry. Did I hit? Oh, I hit my own friendly units. My bad. My, my bad. I mean, it wouldn't be a Jackie Fish episode if I didn't kill some of my own men, right? As soon as the main archer line starts firing, it's just over. I do obviously want some of my men to uh, level up, though. So I don't just want, like, all my archers to get the kills. There you go. Battle's won. This was kind of just like a, a prelude to our to our big wars. We still got a siege battle to have, and obviously a siege battle is going to be 700 men. Um, with my 700 against their 500, I think, when I looked. So, not going to be the easiest battle, but still. Uh, you can free to go. Let's, let's try and build a relationship, because eventually these guys are going to have to go somewhere when I kill their faction. So, maybe they'll go to me, and also some nice loot here as well. Yeah, we are still very much... I mean, it says we're making 7 grand, but I think that's just a bug. 
Oh, this castle's much easier to take. The other one had a 500 man garrison. This one only has a 300 man garrison. So definitely going to take this one first. It's probably not going to be as heavily upgraded as well. So the question is, do we, do we need to make breaches? Probably, right? I, I don't think siege towers are fixed yet. So probably is kind of needed. Um, so everyone's joining me. Let's, uh, we have to actually spend him when doing this, but it's fine. Yeah, the morale is actually pretty high as well. Normally the morale for garrisons are much lower, like much, much lower. But yeah, oh, we're going to have so many men. We literally are going to be packed to the broom with soldiers, which is good. Because hopefully we can go from castle to castle. We take this castle and then we'll go to the other one. The other one, as I said, has around about 300 men. So it's a little bit scary. I'm loving too much here. This castle is much worse because they've only built two catapults by the time we've actually built our first trebuchet. But I mean, honestly, the trebuchet can probably 1v1 it. Actually, maybe not. Them catapults do some serious damage. Anyway, we'll skip ahead until the siege is ready. Okay, the walls are down. We'll just wait for it to become daytime. But however, whilst we were sieging the castle, the Western Empire declared war on us. So uh, we're going to probably have to try and clear this up kind of quickly. Uh, win our war in the north and then head down south so no, we don't lose any of our castles in like any of the territory. Oh, that's a really cool siege map. I haven't actually seen this one. This must be one of the lower level ones before they break out their defenses out here. Um, so, I mean, we've got two breaches. Should be a walk in the park, honestly. Uh, no need for it to open the gate, I don't think. I'm pretty sure we can just storm the defenses. We'll go up here and try and soften up some of their uh, some of their defenses as well with our bow. Obviously, focusing down all the archers, you can actually rack up the damage on us. Unfortunately, not getting headshots. We only have a limited amount of arrows as well, so... I'll probably get a little bit closer in a second as well. Oh my god, we didn't kill that guy. The trebuchet coming in clutch there. That's dope. Definitely want to try and kill that armored guy there. The Batanian boat or the Sturgeon bowmen. They are a little bit more heavily armored. Probably just trying to get a little bit closer as well. Why not? Make this uh, much easier. Oh my god, we are taking casualties after casualties. That's not too good. He's going to try and shoot me. The guy's taking like four arrows and he's still not down. Obviously, headshots are pretty important, but. There we go. Come on, boys. Break through. There's plenty of you. Oh, God. That's a. Uh... Oh, well, nice. Yeah, we, we can do this now. We can just come around the side. It's a uh, wrecking time. Yeah, we've already broken them here. Good. Probably better to be dismounted, but I don't want to find myself in a situation where I just get slaughtered. There you go. Defenses are broken. Good, good, good. Over on the other side as well. We, uh, we're we doing good. I think we've broken their morale. There's some archers left. Oh, what was that sound? I've never, never heard that sound before. Oh, let's uh, keep on going. Keep on going. Oh, there's not really any space. There's another archer down. Good, good, good. Getting breaking my morale is not a bad thing. Let them run. And yeah, so this will be a, not a castle for us. Hopefully, again, we can give away some of these goddamn castles to someone. There's just literally no one wants to join me. I would keep on trying, but... It's going to be kind of hard to, uh, yeah, to actually gain people to give this castle to. Also, how are we still losing men? Surely there can't be, like, anyone left. You're friendly. Men are storming the walls now as well. Good, good, good. Just some men left in here. Okay. So there's a bit of a race to, to see if you can get there. Well, unfortunately, my horse can't climb stairs. So I'll be just up there. Okay. Well, we can probably use our bow here. Try and save some lives. There you go. Good. Okay. Nice. Easy siege battle. We lost 100 men. Obviously, that sucks. But... Got some good prisoners. I probably should have uh, leveled up all my men as well before doing that. We probably could have got a bunch more actual footmen and stuff into the army. And we definitely need way more horses. I'm going to upgrade all of them, I think, into horses. And we have a lot of recruits. I'm going to take all the recruits, honestly. Even though they're not... Because I, I think just having soldiers is kind of pretty important right now. Take all the upgrades as well. Hopefully, there'll be some good gear to take. I uh, have a new castle. Uh, so can we can we convince the main guy of uh, of the clan to actually join us? So 
Fitting hands. The Carlion is who we need to talk to. Uh, so let's talk to him. And see if we can actually convince him to join us to straight up. I want Emic and I can't. Okay, cool. Because sometimes you can ask mercenaries to join you. Should be cool. Uh, everyone just dumps up their prisoners, but no one leaves a goddamn garrison. Which is really annoying. Uh, so I guess we'll just get all these sturgeons for now. I don't want to leave anything more, if I'm honest, but it's nowhere near enough. How's the castle looking? So they actually do have level 3 walls, which is nice. So it's not a bad settlement. Uh, we obviously need to train militia. Uh, Ray and Marid can be up here as well. I think Ray and Marid is a mercenary as well. So we're just going to stick here for a little while just so the garrison can build up a bit. Um, we do have to be very careful because as you guys uh, as you guys would know, we are also at war now with the Western Empire. And if they go for our... Do we have that castle? Or do we never take it? Did they take that castle from us? They did, right? They, they must have taken this castle. Could we have this castle? No, they didn't. We never had that castle. Yeah, we just had these three. Oh, but now it means they're going to probably go after this one. Hmm. Maybe we make peace. Maybe we make peace with the Sturgeons. Oh, I don't want to, though. I really don't want to. But we might have to. Uh, we have plenty of food as well. Just going to let the garrison build up here. Or militia build up here. Unfortunately, I, ha I don't want to take the castle. I want to give it to someone. I want to spread the wealth, you know? Let the people seize the means of production, but... Yeah, it's almost impossible to do that. Uh, let's let all the uh, the hand dudes go. Because maybe they'll go and put some men in the garrison. Doesn't look like it, but at least they can go off. Oh, everyone's declaring war. The Asari are declaring war on me now as well. Can we just, like, can we just be cheesy and just go propose peace? Oh, if we pay them, oh, if we pay them money, they'll make peace. Or is it if they're paying a day or, so that's, we give them money. No, I don't think so. Like the other two maybe would be a, not a bad idea. Just to pay tribute to stop them from taking both my castles. But Sturgeon, we could definitely wipe out. If we're just quick now. Which I might have to do. I might have to bring the boys back and... Go through this castle really quickly. Obviously, I'm super nervous about us losing the militia there. Oh, they're actually already sieging that. Okay, so if they're sieging that, that's fine. That's probably the Kuzites sieging that. So if we head this way, we'll see how many men they have at their main town. Yeah, we are giving them a lot of our food as well, which isn't great. So the main town is over here. They don't have another castle. Let's see how many they have for a garrison there. If it's like below 300, then... I, I can't... I, can't, I need to leave more men of this garrison. Because if they just get 50 men, they could probably storm this castle. They're still making money as well. So we could make peace with one of the enemy factions if we wanted to. Uh, what's the garrison like here now? Without my men. Yeah, not enough. Let's go give them just a handful more men. Uh, you can have the hired crossbows... Some Imperial Archers, sure. I should just have them all. And the Imperial Militia, sure, have them. Some Armed Traders, so some more Bowmen. And the Watchmen you guys can have as well. So that gives out a 50-man garrison. I feel a lot more conf confident that they'll be able to hold out, especially with a Militia growing every single day. It's a 70-man garrison. As we said, Sturgeon doesn't really have any men. And if worse comes to worse, if we lose our territory in Asari territory, if we lose our castle in... Uh, the Western Empire. I think I'm fine with that. Um, I really want to talk to these guys as well. Try and convince them to join me. Nice. You managed to kill that army. I'm hoping also my, my mercenaries will actually go and help out as well. If that castle does get put under siege. It's annoying that no one else does put men in the garrison though. I guess it's because it doesn't get them influence and they just don't really care. Uh, we need to buy some more food here and give the boys a chance to buy some food. I think they did all just buy food there, which is, I guess, great for me. We have some gear we can sell off as well. Oh, not a bad sword there as well. Yeah, nine grand is nice. So we're over 100k now, which is really good because we were super struggling for money beforehand. How many men? It's going to be like seven, 800 defenders in the city. We'd have 1,000 attackers. Is that, that's not going to be enough, is it? Like, with everyone we have, it's just not going to be enough. We need to, like, get another mercenary company to join us. We have the money to for now. Um, oh, hello. Hello, though. 
Get to capture some enemy lords, come to the aid. Uh, so at least we get to finish off the, the remainder of the Sturgeons. And maybe if we release them as well, we can then convince them to join us after the fact. Fortunately, not really a favorable map for our, like, mass archers. And we're finally starting to get some horses. Finally, slowly but surely. Are you guys gonna... Okay, let's uh, dismount these guys then again. Get off your horses! Get off your horses and go into a normal formation like everybody else. Sorry, over here. Okay. How did he hit me before I hit him? Can't believe they're charging me as well. What absolute mad lads. Abs I mean, oh, they're all charging me. Wow. No, they're not. They're just standing their ground there. Okay, cool. That's fine. For a second, I thought they were actually charging me. I was about to say, like, absolute mad lads. There's a form of a nice line, like, here. Archers can probably just say where they are, right? Let the cavalry do its thing. We're going to have absorb some ammunition, but for the most part, we should start seeing them coming at us pretty soon. Oh, nice. Two, two hits right there. Two kills. MG line up here, MG will get into shield wall. Now you're already in shield wall, perfect. You form shield wall just as they come clashing against us, perfect. I try and help out on the flank here. Is this friendly or enemy? Friendly. Yeah, their flanks are doing good, but I actually lost a lot of men in this battle. Maybe a few too many men. Try and pick up some of these archers for the boys. One last archer. Yeah, we lost 70 men. That's not bad. Considering we don't really have enough men to take their castle to begin with. It's not bad. But it's a good experience for the rest of the boys, right? This will upgrade a bunch of our nomads which we have, so... I just fear we don't have enough. We kind of need, like, another big mercenary group. And they'll like us more as well. But yeah, the mercenary group will like us more as well. Is this the main clan? I can't remember if it is. Samir. Listen to me, Samir. You're free to go. Let's just let's just make some friends. We also can try and boost up our charm a bit as well. So we'll definitely let this guy go. Um, actually, he doesn't, I mean, doesn't like us, but we'll let him go. Lots of prisoners. Lots of uh, recruits as well. Because I think our leadership is actually really close to... Uh, I think our leadership is actually all siege where there's no way we're going to make it down there. No way. We're in the north campaigning. I guess they get it. Nothing much we can really do about that, unfortunately. It's unfortunate, but what are you going to do? So we are, we do only have, like, we don't really have the biggest army anymore. I might just let the boys go uh, and do their thing. Uh, yeah, we'll just disband the army. We are still not in an army, right? Yeah, we disbanded the army. I'll let the boys go off and recruit again, and then we'll pr we might try and amass another army. Uh, let's do that right now, actually, because as I said, we have the money. Let's create a new party. We'll let these guys get back up to their full strength. No, we'll do the Prince or Raylan. I think we go Raylan, because he's a bit more heavily armoured. Yeah, Raylan will go out. We'll go up to, what, six parties? And we could try and rush down there. We only have... Uh, we only have... A handful of men ourselves, to be honest. TBH. Yeah, we won't, we won't make it down there in time. Unfortunately. Oh, nice. This settlement actually loves me as well. Why does this settlement love me so? Oh, it doesn't. Okay. Of course, for a second, this was my limit. A relationship decrease with someone there. I just want to kind of stick around this castle. Because that 200-man army could probably take us on. I assume we're going to lose that castle. I mean, it's holding. I mean, it is. I think it's very actually fighting for it right now. I feel like I should be able to, like... I guess not, maybe. I was going to say, I feel like we should be able to, like, see... What exactly is, like, being taken down and stuff. But I guess it's a bit silly to be able to do that. 
We'll let all these prisoners kind of just join up again. As we have so much room for men. And we're always on the lookout for a leader of an enemy clan as well. Or even just a mercenary group. Is, is pretty... Uh, pretty fruitful right now because if we can get up to like 1200 men i think we can easily take that main castle you are welcome my friend are you the leader of the crew or not i never really know it'd be kind of cool if the, the heads of the houses had like a, a golden border or something that'd be a really nice way to, to specify whether or not uh you know they are the leader or whatnot because sometimes like, they have like 100, 100 plus men is generally kind of what you expect. But you still never know. I don't even know what one's here that I need to talk to. We'll just let him come out quickly. If he is going to. Probably go the, the other way completely. And we'll just go down the usual recruiting these men. Get this guy up. See if he wants to join us. I mean, we'll see if he wants to join us first. I mean, critical success, that could be good. The problem I'm running into, though, is I can't then pay them enough money to join us. Like, I'd literally give him a castle if I could. Well, we've done this part, but I don't think I can then convince him to join us. I think he's going to automatically join. Oh, he just does it automatically? Okay, good. I mean, we'll give him some money anyway, because we have it. Okay. Improve our relationship. So he's joined us now. And he's an actual household member as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to save as. I'm going to save this as something special. Um, he joined me. Just in case I give him a castle. And then he automatically then leaves me. You know. Because um, we have another clan. Oh, uh, We have actually to multiple clans. Oh, wait. But these guys are just a mercenary. These guys are actually part. Then we can go to Thieves. And um, then what castle do you want to give? Sahel Castle's going to fall. It only has 90 defenders left. None of my places really are. So I'll give him the most northern one. Oh, can I not do that? Oh my god. So I actually have to take a castle. Before I can do anything else. Oh my god. How annoying. Well, we'll support him a little bit. Give him some influence. And maybe make him like me a little bit. So we have the influence to do it. So let's just pump some influence into them. And I guess we'll form a party with just everyone and we'll go for a major castle. I mean, I guess I can give a major castle to someone. Because um, I don't think they can leave me whilst we're all in an army together. Sorry, boys. I know I said that you guys could go on a little bit of a rest, but I lied. <laughs> everyone assemble up, boys. Oh, my God. We're going to run out of food so quickly. I need to go to, like, every major town on the way and buy all of their food. Because, as I said, we have 100k, which is good. I will take all of your meats, all of your food, all of your dates. Well, 61 days worth of food, but it ain't going to be too long. How's it going, my dear? Are, are you the head? Is this all turning up Millhouse? Oh, he's joining an army. I don't want to kill him. Do not want to fight the Kuzites, like, surprisingly enough. So let all the boys join up. We actually personally don't have that many men. Only like 150 of our own. But with everyone else, with their soldiers as well, I think we'll be okay. That's my uh, caravan right there. Because I had some Britannia made peace. Okay, I'm just here to buy food. Because, again, if we lose all our settlements in the south, yeah, that sucks. Uh, but if we get a major city and we basically wipe out the Kuzites, that'll give us a huge place to expand or over our capacity as well. Okay. Must be some stuff I can sell, some horses I can buy. Let's buy like a mule. Yeah, perfect. And we can sell all this crap as well. I guess we'll buy some more horses whilst we're here. So expensive. Okay, maybe not. Should we sell some of our horses whilst we're here? And then just buy some of these instead? Nice. Our, our, our uh, trades are a strong right there. Yeah, we really need a bigger, a bigger arsenal, bigger army. But we still, got, we still, got, we'll have a big party. We have the influence, thankfully, to keep everyone probably around. We'll take this main castle, then we'll give it over to the other guys. 
in the hopes that they'll stay with us now that they have a castle. And again, they are a mercenary, right? They're a mercenary clan who's joined us, so I can't really imagine that they would be like... Why? They've literally joined my enemies. I don't understand, like, what I'm supposed to do to convince someone to join me. It's literally impossible. And it's not like my mods have done anything. People have told me that this is just how the base game is. They left me and they joined someone else. It's actually ridiculous. It really is. Like, we have to, uh... We have to disband the boys. Hopefully they can catch them. Another one of our set up. Yeah, this is under siege now as well. I mean, it's fine. We could probably get down here, to be honest, in time. Which I might do. But yeah, then this castle's like, I might just migrate my, my settlements to the north. At least you got him. At least you'll make him unpowered. I'm going to execute this guy if I catch him. Yeah, I'm going to execute him. Yeah, we caught him. I've had enough. Yo, if we capture you, my dude, you're getting your head sliced clean off. Because it's, it's just ridiculous. Like, what else? Like, I, I, like I, I pumped influence into him. I had so much to keep him. I gave him money, you know? Like, what more can a man do? And it, this is really boring, if I'm being honest. Literally boring. And I don't think there's any... Like, I don't think I've got any mods on that would affect it. Separatism mod is off. Um, like, Battle Lord Tweak doesn't do anything to whether or not Lords would leave you or not. I might, I might see if there's a mod to stop that from happening. Like, just completely stop Lords from leaving. I guess we could just work with mercenaries, but I don't really want to, you know? Also, how have we not hit a single one of these guys yet? It's not like they're hard to hit. At least a lot of these guys look like Kazites, so we should actually pick up a decent amount of them. Let's dodge, duck, dive, and dodge. Get some of the melee cavalry around here. We're going to crush their center whilst our horse archers are fighting one another. Get our lot archers into loose formation as well. One of them charging. Yeah, the melee cavalry in on them now as well. We should have them. No, it seems like our melee cavalry doesn't want to help out here. Okay, I guess that's fine. We're pushing them back nonetheless. As I said, this guy is getting 100% executed after anyone with this star faction. I'm done. They betrayed me. They can't go against me if they're all dead. So we're going to wipe this clan into existence. And it might ruin us for everyone not joining us ever again because we're executing people. But no one's joining us anyway. So, oh, probably should have been there. Not bad. Friendly, anyway. It's got like a lone horse archer left. We only lost 10 men there as well. That's not a bad exchange. And I guess what we'll do is I'll rally the men and try and get down south as quickly as possible. Friendly. Yeah, I guess we'll head down south and see if we can stop the siege of our. Oh, yeah, you're my prisoner when I mean, you're getting your head sliced cleaned off. Uh, I'll also recruit all my prisoners as well because we need the men. Uh, so let's upgrade everyone who can upgrade and we'll recruit all prisoners. Okay, there's an extra 20 men. I'll take it. A bunch more nomads who can level up. So we're starting to get some more cavalry as well. So that open field uh, you know, combat will be a lot better. We have 80 prisoners. Uh, this guy is getting his head sliced clean off. I mean, sucks to be you, right? Sucks to be you. Uh, and let's go. Uh, so let's assemble the boys. So 
Seven more boys and head down south to our castle. Shouldn't take us too long to get down here either. Uh, where is it? Over here. Siege camp has erupted and the garrison isn't huge, but it sounds like they're already fighting as well. Now, we've just got their rams. So we're not fighting yet, so we do have time. God, we, how many relations are we decreasing with? Because we executed one guy. Is that like the entire realm? Ugh, god damn it. I mean, I guess we're just going to go on a murder spree from now on. Also, we actually might have enough to take that castle in, the, in the, the main settlement in the north. Come on, we need to move a little bit faster than this before our castle falls. They're not sieging. They've basically got enough to siege us, though. Don't think we're going to arrive in time. We'll, be able, we'll arrive in time to probably counter-attack pretty quickly. But I'd love, to get, I'd love to get in the defensive siege battle with all of our boys. Yeah, we're just moving. We're not very fast, though, really, are we? Oh, they broke the siege. Good. Well, I can head down there, at least. Sediment and is under attack. Uh, where? That's not under attack. It's in one of my castles. Better not be this one up here. No. Do we ever lose this one in the south, or did they repel the defenders? Oh, they repel them. It's still under siege, though, so I guess maybe we could keep on going down. Or maybe we just push against these guys and... Try and take a wounded castle. Yeah, I mean, this is one of the problems of not having lords who are willing to join us. And having such a spread out empire. Like, I might just have to commit to being up in the Sturgeon territory. For us, under attack, is that our northern one? Mm, yeah, it is, right? No, it's this one. Okay, cool, that's fine. There's a sorry men up here. What the hell? We are losing men now, but not not loads. Well, we honestly really need like another faction to to get wrecked. Honestly, 400 men garrison. That's not bad. Kind of need like someone else to get hit up pretty hard. Like who else are these guys at war with? Britannia? I mean, they're at war with Britannia. Maybe we can sneak a castle from them. We know they have an army around here. So let's go see how, how big of a garrison is there also. So I'll try and catch this guy quickly. So I mean, I can't really give up the garrison here. Will everyone drop off their prisoners? I want to keep on recruiting my prisoners. Because if they turn up with like a thousand man army, we can't really fight that, right? No, over there. So it's this one's under siege again. Over here. Oh my god, this is just... <laughs> if we had more lords, it'd be so easy to deal with this. Because I could give castles to people and they could defend their own lands. I'm going to have to do some searching on Nexus mods. I really am. Uh, let's uh, get this guy as well. Uh, so they don't immediately go after them though, do they? I could literally just, just convince someone to not leave us immediately. Like, is this an issue you guys are having as well? Like, I'm on the beta patch as well. Or is my is it just my save file is just fucked? Somehow we're still keeping these castles as well. Like, maybe we do just have to go on a, a killing spree and just fight everybody. So let's head down south and see how many men of a garrison they have at this castle. Maybe we have better luck here. And maybe just more mercenaries is the way to go. Maybe just more mercenaries. All this guy can join us now as well. That's another 88 men. Yeah, I mean, it puts us to like a thousand, right? That's not bad. Like I said, convincing him to join us, maybe we just get everyone as mercenaries. Um, Imperial arms traders. That's another bunch of men. Because if we just start eroding at some of the bigger empires, that could be a big, big help. 700 men there. This is not worth it. I'd lose most of my army, right? Twelve hundred there. You boys want to fight? Let's go. I'm. I'm. Let's go. Let's scrap. I'll wait here for all you got. All you guys to turn up. I 
Because that's the thing as well. These guys have, like, really good armies as well. It's not like they don't have any men. Like, they have... They literally have more men than me. Probably. Oh, if he... Yeah, if he engages them, let's go. Let's use him as a uh, bait. Let's go. No, he should join them. Oh, 600 defenders. Let's go. I mean, they're going to obviously raise enough men to stop us, but then we'll have a big old battle. Because if we if we could make one breach, we could storm this castle. They only slightly outnumber us, in all honesty. And they'll probably raise an army of like a thousand men, which is again is fine with me. Make sure we bring on all of our mercenary, all of the. Uh, Great a lot of this infantry. I mean, I, again, our infantry's not looking that awful either now. Can't get the looters up at all yet. We've still got another 55 prisoners we'll eventually be able to grab up, so... You know, we've got a 1,000 men. I'm happy with that. We could definitely take this castle. Again, if we lose other stuff, that's fine. As I said, we just need to kind of take a castle of our own. Oh, my stock all the way over here now. Okay, good. So we may have enough men, right? But they, they, they're going in for it, but they really have enough. 300? I mean, maybe. If I have a garrison, though, yeah. I mean, we probably won't have enough, though. Either way, we'll have a big battle. So they have around about similar men. So we probably won't have enough to take the castle after this, but I'm gonna, I'm just gonna execute everyone. I'm gonna watch the world burn, I think. Every man I capture, I'm just gonna kill. I think that's the only way for us to progress in this campaign at this point. Uh, we have a nice hill we can defend from, so infantry, set up a line like there. Archers can go up just behind. Main cavalry line there. Horse archers over here. Wait, what are you guys doing? Main infantry line here, please. They're already getting close to us as well. Infantry should be having me in their, their fabled shield wall. Oh, it's just doing their thing. No, I keep on clicking everyone. God damn it. Four horse archers. Thank you. They are rushing me as well. Holy crap. We need our archers to do some damage, if I'm honest. Hopefully we have a lot of axes going into them as well. They have some really good leveled men though. This whole firm boy is in your shield wall. It's looking pretty good for us. We're already pushing them back. Archers will be able to hammer them. They have a lot of archers there though. Let's get the cavalry to go charging in on them. Why not? These are all archers here. Yeah, cavalry, go, go, go. Slaughter them. They're falling back now to meet up their reinforcements. Let's just have a, have a field day here. Oh my god, come on. We'll look to pull back probably in a second, but for now, screw it. Why not let just let the boys do their thing? Especially if we can kill some of their elite men. Okay, archers and stuff pull back now. Cavalry pull back. Horse archers pull back as well. Might reform of the infantry line a little bit as well. Let's get a little bit tighter. Archers maybe move up here so we have a little bit more of a clean line of sight. They'll be coming in for a second assault soon. Let's try and take out this leader before we uh, before we get too busy. Nice. Killed there. I think that's their emperor maybe. Should I hit the shot my dude? Oh, he didn't kill him? Come on.
archers going in again. I may have a lot of missiles, right? They're actually going to try and skirmish me as well, it seems. All archers, just do your thing, boys. They're coming in again for another assault. I'm actually going to dismount. Help out the boys a little. Oh, we just got to use our range to our advantage. I don't know where they're going, but we cannot die in this battle. It's very important we do not die. Oh, how did I not hit him? How did I not hit him as well? Oh my, they are pushing around that flank. I don't know why our MG is facing the wrong way as well. This battle is so goddamn close. Push everyone in now. Let's go, 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 go. It's just their marchers. Their marchers are going to be the death of us because the boys aren't going to chase them. I know for a fact they're not going to go after them. And there's 200 of them, right? I might literally just tell the MG to charge them. Get out your shield wall. Line, just go. Get close enough and then charge. If we can get on the archers, then I think we win. Just charge them now. Just kill them. There's so many of them there. You kill all the archers. Still so many missiles. Just trying to help out as much as I can. I'm so low that I really can't get involved too much. But I think our flanking has worked. All our archers have turned up as well. Yeah, battles look like it's going in our favour now. No, they got taken down. Don't think it matters at this point, Bo. There should be enough just to clear them up. Well, at least it's a lot of money we're going to get. And we killed a thousand soldiers. We lost 400 ourselves, but we killed over a thousand. And unfortunately, in Battle Lords at the moment, that doesn't matter. I mean, I'm going to kill every single Lord I capture, so I guess it does matter to it. They won't be able to get them back, but... And it'll be a lot of loot as well, hopefully. And we didn't capture a single one! Is that a joke? Is that an absolute joke? Oh, come on. And like, they, look at how many men they already have. It's insane. Like, I don't know. Like, I'm just finding it so hard to do anything in this game. At the moment. And for stupid reasons as well. Like, I feel like I'm not exactly being... Outplayed or this. I just feel like it's, it's just almost impossible to progress. They're gonna catch me as well. We can we can kill them. It's fine. Because the garrison is so huge. It's not even battle or tweaks either. Battle or tweaks is uh, set down for garrison sizes. Uh, luckily, we're inside the settlement, so we can get rid of a lot of our prisoners by the mercenary guard, which we'll do. Any recruits left? Nope. I can't believe I didn't capture a single one of them as well there. Yeah, we make 27k there, so that's not bad. But once again, just no lords on our side. Like, that's normally how you win the game, is you get people to join you, and then you just slowly whittle down the enemy. Oh, look, our wife's here. We're just finding it almost impossible to do that, though. We really are. Got a lot of good infantry now, though, which I guess is a good sign. If we leave this as well, five hundred men. Yeah, I guess we'll. I guess we'll. We'll just ban the army. We'll go look for another mercenary group because we have the cash to do it now. We need one more mercenary group to join us. In the hopes that this castle doesn't get stormed. I mean, we just killed a thousand of their men. They shouldn't be able to storm that castle anytime soon. This is going to constantly be getting siege. Nothing we can do about that. 
And you would have think as well that Batania would be like hitting them a lot harder. Because Batania are like one of the strongest factions. Yeah, just fighting Sturgeon in the Western Empire. Like, it shouldn't really be too scary. Maybe we do that. Oh, they never took this castle. So maybe we just go up north and we take that castle with the boys. Look for another mercenary king. Uh, get them to join us. And just kind of go from there. Let everyone just re-recruit their armies again. And just move from there. Yeah, because I think with one more mercenary group, we'd have enough to defeat them thousand-man armies. It just feels so, like, cheesy, though, doing it like that. But I guess we have to go it alone. Unfortunately. It is the way. The path that is set out for us is to go it alone. Oh, our leadership's almost 100 and whatever it is now. Which will be great. I'm also going to take everyone on, because if I can have 400 men, because of all our laws and stuff... That would be insane. Maybe we should start passing some laws as well that is like lower parties gain more influence and stuff like that. Maybe we should actually do that. You know, like, oh, level 3 clans gain bonuses. I actually want to do this. 5% taxes for the ruling crown. Uh, so basically higher taxes, but we lose prosperity. That's actually not that bad. And apparently people don't want to do it either, but hey, we'll, we'll pass that law. Spend 100 influence to do that. We're getting quite a decent amount today, so not really anything too much to worry about. Can't believe we only have 150 men now as well. We are recruiting a lot of prisoners though, so that's not the worst thing in the world either. Alright, cool. Well, I think that's where we're going to end it. I'm going to play again some more off camera, and I think I'll get to a point where we have another mercenary group in our party or in our faction, and what we're going to do is we're then going to convince them to um, we're going to convince them to join us, and as just a mercenary, we'll pay them, and then we'll go see to the last Sturgeon castles, and we'll go from there. Because once they fall, we should be in a much, much, much better situation. So yeah, I'll see you guys uh, in a bit.